it's Coded Lima's Handy How To Minecraft Guide. Pretty snappy title, right? Disclaimer. Coded Lima's Handy How To Guide may or may not be handy and or a guide. Coded Lima is not a professional and anything he says or does is not legally considered advice. This guide is solely for entertainment purposes only and any person using it for any other purpose does so at their own risk. I might make this a series, I haven't decided yet. Anyway, this one is all about the trial chamber. In case you missed it, the chambers were added in 1.21 and bring a new challenge to players with some new loot to be had and some new mobs to face. So I'm here in my solo survival world and we are going to go find one of these bad boys and see what's what. Now, I'm no expert, but I've defeated plenty of mobs in this game in my time. Proper preparation is key and I'm guessing it'll probably be the same here. So what do I need? Uh, let's see. A shield is probably a good idea. Food, obviously. Bed to set spawn wouldn't hurt. Some easily removable blocks, just in case. Should grab some gapples and god apples, just in case of emergency. Oh, totems of undying. And I've always got them on me anyway, but a really good bow and pickaxe also help. Plus arrows, if you're a widow who doesn't use infinity on your bow. I'm also going to grab a couple of empty shulkers for some goodies. And one last thing I'm grabbing, which is completely optional, is a bottle of bad omen. It ups the ante and gets you better loot, but I'll explain properly later. Excuse me sir, I am trying to record. The word chamber has just lost all meaning to me now. Anyway, now we're prepared, we need to find one of these things. If you've already found one, congratulations! If you don't know how to, there are three ways to do it. Option one is wandering through the caves and or digging aimlessly around until you stumble across one. Option two is using chunkbase.com to find the locations of all the trial chambers in your world. Or option three is probably the way Mojang intended, is using a cartography villager to get a map. For me, it's going to be option three, at least for now. So I've got Jeff here and I'm going to buy this map from him and see where it takes me. Thanks, dude. My name is Jeff. If you're unsure how to read a map in Minecraft, wherever your dot appears, you need to go in the opposite direction. So the dot for me is in the southwest corner. I need to travel northeast, which is that way. So once you've arrived at the location on the map, it's time to start digging. Okay, we're in. Just remember the layout of the trial chamber will be different every time, but be on the lookout for mob spawners. All right, it's time. Hi, Future Coded here. I'm going to be doing this as a voiceover because I know if I tried to record audio live, I would forget because I would be hyper-focused. So I'm going to give you the highlights and talk you through it. So first up, I'm taking things out of these dispensers. Reasons can often set off redstone and so I was removing the dangerous items like fire charges and arrows. Some of them have good stuff in, like helpful potions, and others have neutral things like eggs. So here I am discovering my first vault. I wasn't sure at first if it was a spawner or not, but this little hole that opens up is for a key, and you can kind of see the loot inside them too. Then I remembered there's an advancement for waxing a copper bulb, so I had to do that real quick. So like most Minecraft structures, the trial chambers are an absolute maze. I finally found a ladder which took me up to where I was immediately greeted by skeletons, some husks, and a breeze. As you can see, I remain totally calm, immediately panicking and eating an enchanted golden apple. I play with a mob head drop, and this was the first breeze I killed and it dropped its head. Ooh. It was also around here, I realised I hadn't actually set my spawn, so I ran back to where I came in and popped down a bed and had a wee sleep. So after I killed these skeletons, I got my first trial key. The first time you use it, you get the underwater key advancement, and I also got one of the new armour trims and some wind charges. I then found my way into a bigger room, and it's important in these rooms to check the barrels and decorated pots because they will have loot hiding inside them, sometimes even extra keys. I then came across this vault, which is specifically an ominous vault, which I'll get to later, but it has the red candles to signify it's ominous. I also found one of the new music discs, and I don't know why, but I found this cake not long after, and I just found it really funny that there was cake. It just seems so random. Oh, I guess the diamonds were nice too. After that, it was just more exploring, more mobs to kill. I only really had skeletons and breezes, but there are other possibilities for these chambers, which if I remember, I'll put them on the screen now. I also found this area with four beds, so I guess there's beds here already, if you do forget to bring your own. 
Then I came to what I personally think is the hardest room. It's this upward zigzag of spawners, which is particularly tricky with skeletons because uh, they have ranged weapons. Although they are stupid enough to start fights amongst themselves, which always helps. My shield also broke here, so I would recommend either enchanting it with mending and unbreaking, or making sure you have multiple shields on hand. And now the grand finale. I drank my bad omen potion, which turns these spawners into ominous spawners, where you are granted an o onim uh, um, e where you are granted an ominous key once you've defeated the box, which is used in the ominous vault from earlier. The ominous vaults have higher tier loot, so it's high risk, high reward. Here are some of the risks. More waves of mobs. Mobs can be affected by potions, which cause further problems, especially the new ones that can cause cobwebs, silverfish, and slimes to spawn when the mob is hurt. The ominous mobs will generally spawn with armor, meaning they are stronger and take more effort to defeat. It's also important to note that none of this armor will drop upon the death of the mob, which means if you are to perish yourself and a mob decides to wear your fancy hat, you're not going to get it back. Luckily, I managed to avoid that scenario, I just took it slow and steady, and I came out alive. I even scored some loot from the ominous vaults, nothing too incredible, but enough to keep me interested in trying again. And there you have it. I didn't get all the possible loot, there's way more to be had, so I'll definitely be back and possibly even be trying to find more chambers to explore. So you can't farm the loot, but you can farm the keys. Which is what I'm doing here. I've cleared out a lot of area and made it easier to kill all the mobs. This works for both normal keys and ominous keys. Now I'm just waiting for the cooldown to be up so I can go again. Once I've got a good number of keys, I'm going to head out and find some more chambers. But I'll definitely be doing that on my own time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like. And if you're new, drop a sub to catch more videos like this one. Bye!